The judge now must decide whether to approve an expensive deal that could pay Wall Street bankers more than city retirees. The future of Detroit services also at stake. The hearing continues on Monday. And 7 Action News reporter Jim Kirchner shows you what is at stake. This deal is getting stiff opposition from retirees who are facing reductions in their health care and pensions, 10 to 20 cents on the dollar, while this bank deal would be much sweeter. Let's take a stand. Let's put up a fight against these banks. I assure you, he'd have 20,000 retirees backing him up. Emergency manager Kevin Orr said on the witness stand this deal with Wall Street banks is a ticking time bomb because Detroit could be facing a huge termination fee. This also allows Detroit to keep casino tax revenue coming in as much as $15 million a month that was pledged as collateral. Orr testified the loans may have been predatory and he's made a complaint to the Securities and Exchange Commission. But the SEC has prosecuted cases all over the country on the exact issues that Orr testified. Too. A lot is writing on these so-called swaps or loans that were originally started in 2005 by then-Mayor Kwame Kilpatrick to make payments into employee pension funds. By the numbers, Detroit would pay $165 million, or about 75 cents on the dollar, to the banks. It's a $65 million reduction from an earlier deal gotten when the new talks were ordered by bankruptcy judge Stephen Rhodes. The city will borrow $350 million for the payoff and use $120 million of that to improve city services. Wouldn't it be more in the interest of the city to pursue a potential settlement of $500 million of the bank against the banks that could rebuild their city than go along with paying these banks? Emotions are running high in all of this. One man in the back of the courtroom started shouting. He had to be escorted out. In downtown, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News.